Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back in another one. In this typography tutorial, I have some really, really amazing text effect to show to you. This is some sort of, you can say, text dipped in water. And this is the watery reflection. At least that's what I tried to make. If I was successful, please comment down below. If I was not, I'm missing some things. Please comment down that also below. I highly, highly appreciate your efforts. And I'll learn from that. That's it. That's what I want to say. It's pretty basic. I'll try to uh, break down this very quickly. Simply, we just have a simple text. I have a font. I have just write my text over here. Then, uh, I mean, these are size also. So, uh, after that, I've also increased its Y size. Why? Because in watery reflections, uh, in displays, actually, you can see uh, displays is happening only to this part. So, you can see, okay, this so is the lower half part basically. So, that's why I have just, you know, increased the size and Y. If you're having right now any background noises, I'm really sorry for that, but can't do anything about it. After that, in shading, you can see uh, in the first shading element, its color type is basically instead of solid, this is the usual one, it's a two gradient. And in this gradient, you can see what kind of color it is having. So something like that, just to you know, if I just show you, this is a solid, so it is something like this. In gradient, some darkening, uh, darkness is happening basically in the water, so it's more realistic in some sense. You can say, yo, so whatever. We are done with text. Then after text, we have this technique of that watery technique which I showed you. Uh, and that's what I showed. First of all, second thing. How did I create this uh, technique is in fastness itself. Like if I show you the mask on which it is being displaced. So this is the, not mask, but map. So this is the map. In the map itself, you can see that it's looking really great. Like, okay, it's uh, sort of, if I increase it, first of all, it's sort of ripply. You can say there are a lot of ripples happening. So maybe this was fine before. If I just, so whatever. And how did I make this uh, fastness map? Is pretty simple. If I come to color, change this to linear, then, I just want to, you know, invert it. I can go over here, choose inverted. Okay, wait, let me first see. Is this working in a good manner or not? So, first of all, changing this to one, changing this to zero. And also, again, let me come back and reduce the size. Uh, no, it's not working to be honest. So how did I created this map is pretty simple. First of all, uh, there are many more inputs to the fast noise. Okay. Usually nobody talks about this, but it's a great thing. Uh, I'll explain in my game effects video also when we will create fire and all that stuff. So in the fast noise, you can see all the things are pretty much done on detail and brightness, right? I want to make a detailed ripple effect so I can increase a detail. If I want to reduce it, then I'll just reduce it. So stuff like that. First things first, it's animated. You can see like, okay, it's animated. See the rate is a little bit increased. So that's why it's uh, seething up a little bit. But but it's also following a movement. Which movement? A vertical movement. You can see the water is coming from here and going downwards. Why is that? Because I've added an expression onto its center x and y property and specifically on y. Because in x, it's pretty much as it is like 0 0.05, nothing. But in y, it's minus, like after this comma, minus time uh, slash 500. That's why we're getting a vertical flow. If I didn't add this minus, then it will be going in upward direction. Right now, it's coming in downward direction. This was uh, the fastness till now. After the animation, we have the actual like if I just pause for a moment so we have this actual map the settings are somewhat like this the detail is this contrast is 5 brightness is pretty low minus 0.5 you know all those things you can just copy and paste nothing much over here but in color you can see the type is set to gradient and not to color and this is also set somewhere around somewhat like, somewhat like this which plays a big role to be honest then uh, I create a background so in this background you can see the gradient type is set to linear and positions are somewhat like this uh, not much but the gradient map is just black and white the default one Nothing Thing I have you know messed around with there's the offset value is a little bit like it's a little bit offset with this offset value then I attached it to this bitmap and in this bitmap I changed the channel to luminance earlier it was something like this I think maybe red no it was set to alpha so it was white but I didn't want that so for that I change it to luminance then I have the as this version of the background then I just right click and put it on fast noise now I have all these options I choose noise brightness map now what is happening is basically if I show you my bitmap or uh, background wherever my uh let me just put it over here increases so wherever my background is black brightness is i think maybe uh zero okay so the brightness increases wherever it is black wherever it gets white there your brightness will decrease Okay, so it's something like, and this is a brightness map we created for fast noise. Then in fast noise, we created this map. And then this is going into displays. All right. And with the help of that, we are displacing it like it. If I don't had that, then all of it will would get displaced. Okay, which we don't want. So that's why I added this brightness map in fast noise. And with that, we have this sort of result. We are pretty much done with the main effect. Now just let's talk about all the post processing and you know color and all the fancy stuff you can see. I had added some glow, the glow setting is somewhat like this. Then some soft glow. This is hard soft glow. 
and after this I always add soft soft clean prism blur and finally we had something like this now let's talk about some more color stuff so if I enable this merge first of all all right then also this background so you can see in this background I have uh, many versions basically you can say so in these versions I have different colors so first is this one actually the first one was this but whatever so this is a uh, background version and you can see the offset is set to offset is keyframed and the repeat is set to repeat like the repeat mode is set to repeat not once or ping pong it's just set to repeat so because of that we are getting this color trail following in horizontal way then in the second one I have something like this you can choose any color you can do literally anything i just did it on my own understanding of little bit of you know, little knowledge of color and everything that's it and the last one is this then i thought that this line is really harsh so you know what let me do one thing let's add a blur after it so what was happening is i had this background okay so how this was animated was let me just remove all of it for a moment so i had this background in this background i created this like all these so first i created this then i created this I should have I should have started like this okay sorry for that <laughs> and the last one was this I should have created more but due to you know less time but it's great so basically these three versions of color different color palettes different orders of you know animating them whatever let me just focus on the second one then I took the output of this text and if I choose alpha then you can see we have this text as it is and color again and then I just took it let me view the background took it and put it in the mask input of this background boom we got this mask inside the text see how good it was and that's how we were able to get all these inside text but i thought we should do some crazy stuff how can we do that well we can add a blur after background but what will it do so if i put this over here and also if i uncheck the checker underlay over here checker underlay is basically all the boxes uh, display to show the transparency you know if i view the blur node nothing is happening till now because i've switched it off obviously if i enable it so what it's doing is basically it's blurring out the text so if i view this over here you can see it's just blurring out right if i increase it it will blur out more you know some stuff like this will happen but right now what is happening is it's coming out of the text and it's making it a little bit uh, looking like it's a glow effect i don't want that i want this to happen just inside the text then i took that output of text and attached it to the effect mask of this blur and boom it's happening right now you can see in the in uh in this blur node also it's happening just inside the text i can even go here and you know apply the mass inverter so it will happen only outside but i don't want that i don't want to create create the glow for that we have we already have those glow effects now if i view the media out so it will look something like this this is all because of the blur you can come here you know you can make it zero as it was earlier or maybe you can increase it to a point where you think that it's looking great and now all of these will have that's you know it's getting a sort of subsurface scattering effect not much but a little bit so yeah so what it's doing is basically it has this gradient background in the back and it's putting this on top of this gradient background so that's why it's looking something like this i think it's looking super super cool so we have this sort of you know subsurface scattered uh, text basically now let me show you all three effects and that is it for this one so i really hope that you like this tutorial i mean it was not a tutorial but it was much of a uh, like what do you say what do you call it breakdown yeah it was a breakdown not a tutorial but i thought it was nice effect and share it with you guys you know share it with the community that's it with that being said all the links are in description below please open the description box and check out all the links and yeah that's it this is me signing off see you next time bye bye and you know what let's get another version this time let's reduce the red and increase the blue so somewhere around here so maybe somewhere around here it will look good and let's play it now oh yeah it is looking great indeed what we can do is we can even make it more darker so something like this yeah something like this is super cool and maybe just what if i just made it white white again yeah okay looking super great so you know you can just mess around with a lot of stuff 
and by the way file is again in description so check it don't forget to check out description that's it see you in the next one bye bye peace out